we're going to talk about some fragrances that I wear when I want to feel sexy. That doesn't mean these will make you feel sexy. I don't know why they wouldn't, because they smell amazing. <laughs> but uh, they definitely make me feel sexy when I wear them. I love these fragrances and I reach for them a lot. And many of them I've worn for a long time at this point. So let's go ahead and get started with the list. And I'm gonna begin with one that unfortunately is not available anymore, um, which makes me really sad because once my bottle's gone, I probably won't be able to wear this anymore either. This is from Tom Ford and it is Noir Pour Femme. One of the very first videos I did on my channel was about Noir Pour Femme and I compared it to Noir Extreme. Uh, both of them were created by Sonia Constant and the new release, the Noir Extreme Parfum, I'm assuming was also created by her. I have not smelled that yet, but um, I'm hoping it's maybe more similar to this one because at least of the options available previously, I think the Pour Femme is the superior version. Um, I do think men can wear this and I think it would also smell very sexy on men, uh, but obviously it was marketed towards women. Doesn't say anything about Pour Femme on the bottle though. So if you do find a bottle, you should get it no matter what gender you are. Um, so anyway, let me tell you about this delicious, sexy fragrance. So this is one that um, I actually have worn when it's warm, but I just don't put on as much, but this will last on my skin all day long and it will smell amazing. So it's like, it has this note uh, or this an accord of kulfi, which is sort of like an ice cream, like a, I think it's like pistachio, maybe spicy kind of uh, ice cream. It definitely has vanillic ambery qualities to it. And I think there's like ginger in here is what it smells like to me specifically, but some other spice, you know, spices in addition to that. Um, and it's got a woody touch to it as well. I would say this one is very round, voluptuous, it's warm, it's inviting. And this is the fragrance that my coworker says reminds him of being in the back of an Impala with his girlfriend in the 80s, I think. <laughs> she must have worn something similar or similar smelling. Anyway, uh, so I mean, that, that just tells you where the mind goes with this one. Uh, so definitely check out Noir Pour Femme if you can find it. I think it's very sexy and I love wearing it. Next up is one from Killian and it is called Back to Black. This is a Khalees Becker creation. And to me, this is predominantly a honeyed tonka. There is, I think, a tobacco note in here as well, but the tonka stands out a little bit more in my opinion. It has maybe a slight bit of woodsiness to it, maybe even a little bit of a nuttiness to it, but this tonka does come off a little bit on the powdery end of tonka. So some people don't love this fragrance. I think they're crazy. Um, but I, if it smells like powder, it smells like sexy powder, um, in, in my opinion. And I can understand where they're coming from, but to me, it does have a powdery quality, but I still pull out that like more, I don't know, sort of sultry aspect of tonka. Again, it's, it's a little bit sweet too because of the honey. I mean, seriously, every time I wear this, I'm just like walking around being like, I smell amazing. I smell so hot right now. <laughs> Even if the outer appearance doesn't always match it, uh, it makes me feel that way. So if you don't mind a powdery tonka, I would definitely recommend checking out Back to Black if you haven't already. Probably have, it's been out a long time, um, but I think this is just such a sexy fragrance. Uh, so that is another pick for things that make me feel great. <laughs> The next fragrance is one that I think is sexy, but for very specific occasions. I wouldn't wear this all the time um, when I want to feel sexy, but when I want to feel like a sexy ashtray, <laughs> that's when I would wear this one. Uh, I don't know, like when you're in the mood to like kind of smell like you just came home from a bar, but you know, before smoking in the bar was illegal. And also like smells way better than that. I don't, anyway, I'm doing a poor job explaining it. It's night clubbing from Celine. <laughs> Uh, so this one is this sort of like, I, it, I think it's galbanum that's in here, this sort of s slightly greenish, but kind of smoky. Um, like I said, it kind of reminds me of the smell of ash in a way. And um, there's definitely vanilla and like this sort of uh, waxy orris root running throughout this. I would say there's a touch of earthy patchouli in here as well, but again, Sexy Ashtray is exactly how I would describe nightclubbing. I think the name is fitting because it kind of smells in a very good way, like one would smell after they've been clubbing at night. 
<laughs> um, yeah, I'm a fan. Uh, so not something for every occasion, but for specific ones, I like to wear this. Going in a very opposite direction, the next one I want to talk about is from Guerlain, and this is Spiritus du Livigny. Uh, again, this is not the new bottle, of course. The new bottles look very different from this. This is an old bottle. Um, currently, my old bottle smells significantly richer than my new bottle, but that could just be the age on it. So I'm hoping by the time I finish this, the newer bottle will smell like this one does. Um, but anyway, so this is a Jean-Paul Guerlain creation. And it's one of my very favorite fragrances. I think if you've watched my channel for a little while, you know that. Um, it's boozy vanilla, like heavy on the vanilla. And it's just this really soft vanilla, soft, boozy, cozy vanilla. Slight floral note, slight pepperiness um, to it. I think there's a touch of incense in here as well. But to me, this is like the curled up on the couch with somebody special kind of sexy fragrance where, you know, you're, you're just snuggling. <laughs> and maybe this will be enticing to do more than snuggle. I don't know. This is getting too racy. Okay, let's move on. The next one is sexy, especially if you want to smell like a snack, because this is Lost Cherry from Tom Ford. Lost Cherry literally, like I'm going to spray it now, and it's literally going to make my mouth salivate. It is so delicious, and I don't care that it doesn't last very long, and I understand it is very expensive, and I will buy it again. This is my second bottle of this. Um, I can smell. It's so good. Um, if you want to smell like a boozy chocolate covered cherry, and why would you not? Uh, you should definitely try Lost Cherry. Um, so this is a Louise Turner creation. Almondy, tonkai, boozy chocolate cherry. Mostly cherry, but I, I swear to God, I'm like literally salivating right now. And I don't know why, but something about this just smells so incredibly delicious. And I want to, I want to eat this. I'm not going to because that is not good for you to eat perfume, but it smells so good. It makes you want to eat it. And thus, I think that that's pretty sexy, right? Uh, so that's another great pick. Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. This next fragrance comes with a story because I don't necessarily know that everybody would consider this sexy, but due to my personal scent memories with this fragrance, I do think it is sexy. And this is Anamori by Anamori. I have the Parfum concentration. Uh, sometimes people refer to this as butterfly because there are butterflies on the box, but that's not the actual name. It's just Anamori. Um, I like the EDP as well. In fact, the EDP is what I used to wear when I was in my early 20s. Um, and I, like I said, I wear the Parfum now, but the Eau de Toilette kind of diverges from these two, so I would not recommend that one. I would recommend either the EDP or the Parfum. These are not expensive anymore. They used to be. Um, I mean, for a 20-year-old, they used to be, uh, but they're not anymore. Um, I love this fragrance. So quickly, just to kind of briefly describe it, it is fruity a bit. It's like that fruity, woody kind of floral fragrance that was popular in the early to mid 2000s in some ways. Uh, there's a bit of an almond vibe to this one. Definitely long Long and sandalwood in here. I picked that up. Uh, Black Currant. I think there's like a berry note that's in here as well. But I've gone through several bottles of this fragrance. And the reason why I feel sexy when I wear it is because it reminds me of a time when I would spend a lot of evenings in like dimly lit smoky jazz clubs, like really dimly lit where you could hardly see the people just a few seats down from you. And there'd be like candlelight and, you know, wonderful live music going on, drinks, you know, cocktails galore. And it just had that vibe, right? That like sexy city vibe <laughs> that you would find in a jazz club in Chicago. And I frequented those in my early 20s. Uh, and in my mid 20s, but I wore this particularly in my early 20s. I remember wearing it to a lot of those dark, boozy, smoky clubs. And so I find it sexy. Uh, so that one is Anna Marie. Once again, going in a very different direction, this next one is a bit more animalic in its uh, sexiness. So this is Le Indemidable 
uh, Musta Saba, and this is an Antoine Lee creation. Antoine Lee is one of my favorite perfumers. Um, yeah. And this musk fragrance is very sexy. It is, it's obviously like, it's not a clean musk. It's not super dirty either, honestly, in my opinion, but it's a little bit more on the dirty side for musk. There's some like, uh, like saltiness to it. So it smells like dirty, not dirty, but slightly dirty, salty skin, right? And I would say I get like a little bit of citrus in here, maybe some like slight patchouli, but yeah. And it, it, I think this does have a touch of orris in it as well. Like more of a creamy sort of orris, not flower, like not a floral at all, but yeah, it's like, that's how I think I would describe it is like this, like somewhat little bit spicy, a um, little bit earthy, dirty skin. But again, not too dirty, just just the right amount, right? <laughs> so uh, that is Mousse de Sable from Latin de Madabla. All right, if you didn't see this next one coming, that's because you don't know me very well. Welcome to my channel, I'm Tara, and this is Angel Share. <laughs> I am obsessed with this fragrance, especially in the fall and winter and it smells very sexy to me. And again, this is going a bit more in the gourmand kind of sexy. Um, this lasts forever on my skin and it projects and I can smell it on myself and I love the way it smells and it makes me feel very good about how I feel, right? So it's like, it's just this boozy, cinnamony, like dried fruits and oak vanilla type of fragrance. It does smell like a cognac barrel. Um, and I think that, you know, like a lot of times when you smell the aroma of cognacs, they can take on obviously a variety of different accords. They can go chocolatey, nutty, etc. But for me, I think I get a slight nuttiness, but a lot of the dried fruits that you might get in a lot of cognacs. And then definitely cinnamon. Oh, I love this fragrance so much. Um, I love all of these today, by the way. Just every single one of these, absolutely love. Uh, so yeah. I will be wearing this a lot soon, and then I will buy another bottle. <laughs> so uh, that one is Angel Share from Killian, and who created this? Um, ben Benoist Lapuza, I think is who created Angel Share. I should probably know that. Another great, slightly more gourmand kind of uh, sexy fragrance, especially for fall and winter in my opinion, is Sleek Suede from Yves Saint Laurent. I first smelled this thanks to my friend uh, Hillary and Yara. They brought a bottle for me to sniff when they visited. Last time I mentioned Hillary, I think I forgot to link her channel uh, in the description box. So if I do that again, somebody tell me and I can fix it. Um, but anyway, Sleek Suede, amazing. <laughs> um, obviously this is supposed to have like the suede accord to it, which it very much does, but it's like chocolatey, suede and woody chocolatey woody suede and delicious <laughs> uh, to me there is a little bit of like a tobacco vibe to it like a vanillic sweet sort of tobacco but that's not the main thing the main thing is really the chocolatey suede in my opinion and yes like i said it is uh woody i don't know if it's i think it's oud that's uh, supposed to be in here mm, i love it it's delicious it's great for this time of year coming up and it's very sexy. So that is Sleek Suede from Yves Saint Laurent. If you're looking for a sexy patchouli fragrance, Nightfall Patchouli is definitely one of those. This, uh, I'm not sure who the perfumer was, I couldn't find it, but it is still probably my favorite out of all the Carolina Herrera uh, Confidential Collection fragrances because it's very sexy. <laughs> um, it is like patchouli and like I think it's benzoin that's in here, but kind of vanillic. And then there's definitely like some cinnamon. I pick up rose um, again to me. So what's interesting, they have one in this line called Mystery Tobacco, but to me, Nightfall Patchouli has a stronger note of tobacco in it than the Mystery Tobacco does. You definitely get patchouli in this, but you also definitely get tobacco in it. Um, and so again, it does kind of go down the line of some of those like 
spicy sweet tobaccos in a way because it does have that vanilla quality to it. It does have uh, cinnamon in there. And like, of course I said, I, I definitely pick up tobacco, but at the same time it adds some like earthiness with that patchouli and it is just dark and rich and alluring. And it doesn't matter what your gender is, this would smell very sexy on you, in my opinion, because I think it smells sexy on me. So that is Nightfall Patchouli, Carolina Herrera. Has anyone been counting how many times I've said sexy in this video? Because it's a lot. It's like almost embarrassing. <laughs> but here's the last one. Last one for my sexy choices. Um, this, it, you could go with this one or you could go with the original, but this is uh, La Belle Les Parfums Intense from Jean-Paul Gaultier. I love this one and I love the original. I just currently only have this one here. But um, Quentin Biche and Sonia Constant made both of them. They did a great job, two of my favorite perfumers. And this one is definitely, you know, it, it diverges. So some of these definitely are more, more niche, uh, more uh, unique in their smell. But this one smells fantastic. And I will tell you, part of the reason why I think this one makes me feel sexy is because I get a lot of compliments on it. So it makes me feel good, right? Um, it's like a vanilla tonka, uh, more tonka. So this one has like a strong note of, or stronger note of tonka in it, whereas the original uh, does not. Uh, so this one still has the pear that's in the original. And they definitely smell similar. Like you don't really need both. I would say if you could get samples of both and figure out which one you like the most, go for it. But yeah, it's like a vanilla sort of tonka vibe going on with a juicy pear and a little bit of florals. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but um, it, does, it does last pretty well. It does project off my skin. It's something that I think you could wear maybe clubbing if you wanted to um, and attract some attention potentially if, if that's what you're looking to do. <laughs> um, but uh, that one, yeah, I think the sweetness of it makes a lot of people like it. And so I, again, I do like this fragrance a lot. I certainly personally enjoy some of these others more, but I do think in terms of like mass appeal, this is a great choice. And again, because I get compliments on it makes me feel good too, because people think I smell good. Uh, so anyway, those are my picks for some fragrances that make me feel sexy, but I would love to hear some fragrances that you think are really sexy on yourself or that you think are sexy on other people. Uh, either way, leave me comments below, let me know so I can check them out and see if there's something else I should add to my collection. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.